Alright, time to defeat Cortex. And we know exactly how to defeat Cortex. Just just uh, shoot the green energy bolts back at him. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! F green energy bolt, take it. And of course his castle is going up in flames. Uh, 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 up, 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 up. Of course the blue ones will fly across the screen. He's gonna shoot a green. Ah, I missed. That's a shame. Ah, really? That hit me? Get out of here. Can't believe that actually hit me. Got it. All right, there he goes. Uh huh. Green energy bolt. They'll shoot a couple more purples and blues. But I think the blues will kind of go up and down this time. Yeah, they will. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm still here. I'm still here. He's gonna shoot rapid fire this time. Ah! Ah! ah that hit. I clearly jumped over that. I clearly jumped over that. Are you telling me you can't actually jump over these? Well, like that. And I can't believe I actually still hit that green bolt. I can't believe that actually happened. Yeah, easy. I still got it. Alright, good, good. Uh. Come on, baby. I hate these energy bolts going up and down. They can be pretty tough to avoid most of the time. Ah, ah but I missed that one. Rats. Ah! Oh, man! Come on! Oh, boy. I wish I could do something to, like, make fun of him for getting up in my face like that. Maybe I wish I could make Crash, uh, stick out his tongue at him. Ah, I still got it. That was a bit close. Uh. Got that one. This one, this part, this bit always gets me a bit worked up because since these blue ones arch up and down now. Oh, but I got it that time. That was pretty good. That was cool. Okay, well that works. Oh, God, I didn't spin into him! Give me a break! I wish I could just spin you off of your stinking hoverboard. How about that? You ever think of that one? Since I'm that close to you, I could just spin you right off of your stupid hoverboard and send you... Immediately send you to the start of the Crash Bandicoot 2 intro. You ever think of that one, Cortex? I bet you didn't. Alright, let's try this again. Now I know a good way to at least avoid those purple bolts. I was a bit too worked up from all those purple bolts coming at me like that. Ah! Oh. Getting way too worked up here. That still, I did it again. That's pretty good. Okay, just don't jump. Ugh! All right, there it is. All right, now he'll just fire a single green bolt, and then we'll be done. Come on! There he goes. Take it.
Cortex and Capacitated. <laughs> there it is. We have just defeated Dr. Neo Cortex. Well, hey, there's our yeehaw. It looks like we have to go through the credits. Do we? Oh, we can skip them. But why not? At least go ahead and... At least go ahead and look at them. Since we don't have to worry about watching them a second time. <laughs> at least we can skip them. Let's let's have a look at the masterminds who did this re remaster. But yeah, like I said earlier, what I think about this remaster... I have no problems with it in gameplay-wise. Uh, still really really enjoyable it's just that the mechanics can be a bit a bit of getting used to since the jumping mechanic is way different than the original and there just seems to be a couple of obstacles like in the hog and the hog level some of the obstacles are a bit in different patterns it just makes you get through them really really close like those tribesmen you can like get the like just barely get through them. Just takes a lot of getting used to. But other than that, I have no problems with it. Just exactly like how I was in the first game, the original that is. But hey, but I'm still going to have to get all platinum relics cuz I assume that I mean that has to be it. That has to be a trophy for all three games, get all platinum relics. I mean, since I just provided I just played all three classics originals uh, before the game came out. Huh, Brock Cerny. I wonder if he's a relative of Mark Cerny. The mastermind behind the first three games. The mastermind himself. Uh, same goes for Spyro. Uh, like I said, I, I went and revisited the three classics along with Crash Team Racing and Crash Bash. I had to redo the Platinum Relics just to kind of redo that uh, good enough line to where I can get all Platinum Relics on all the levels. I know some of them are really tough to get the Platinum on. Like, I think the toughest Platinum Relic for me on that on that game was Road Crash, which was level 14. And I have no doubt in my mind that it's going to be just as difficult. But then again, we're going to be having to deal with the new mechanics in all the games on uh, Crash 2 and Crash 3. Well, I thought they were going to do like something fancy because I, I heard the bouncing. Super special shout out to Naughty Dog and the original Crash Bandicoot team members who contri contributed to the original three games. That's how you do it. I was going to say, how can you forget to do, like, the shout-out to the original teams? I mean, you have to. Uh, but anyway, I have no doubt in my mind that uh, trying to get used to the mechanics in the other two games will be a bit of, taking, of getting used to as well. Like, having to ride Polar in Crash 2, riding the bike in Crash 3... Uh, riding Pura and Crash 3. But something tells me it won't be too much of a difficulty. You know, just looking at the uh, all the people in these credits, that just make me kind of wish they were able to kind of hook up with, like, say... Jason Rubin or Mark Cerny since they were the original guys that or any of the original guys that uh, contributed to the classic three just you know hook up with them and I was gonna say like I said how can you forget to uh, recognize the original teams you should never forget that. 
because they were the masterminds that started it all. And you always pay tribute to those who start things. You always do, folks. This is quite the uh, team here. This is quite the team. Hey, at least we don't have to deal with these credits a second time. At least we can skip them. Unlike the originals, we can't skip them. I just can't I just can't help but enjoy listening to this music. They really did an amazing job with remastering the soundtrack as well, and not to mention it's on Spotify. Hmm. Well there's a whole soundtrack I'm gonna have to uh, pay up. Or maybe just uh, like find a way to convert them into MP3 files. Snow levels. Uh, snow platforming. Well, snow... Snow walking. Uh, that's the midi... Oh no, that's the uh, uh, jetpack levels. Uh, jetpack levels for Crash 2. Ah, that sounds so great. But hey, at least we don't have to deal with the getting the color gems for die not dying to get the color gems anymore. Since the color gems in the later games uh, were found in by secret means. And it looks like uh, we won't be able to do the uh, little trick... Uh, uh, Lex Lang. Like, uh, like in Snow Go, there was that trick to where you can do the slide, slide spin jump. Like, if you time it right, you'll get a bit more hang time than a regular slide jump. So you could reach the, you could grab the red gem way ahead of time. Uh, way ahead of time that you, when you're supposed to actually do it. Which was take a secret path from... Well, you'll see, you'll see. Which was, of course, you have to take a secret path in order to be able to do it. Of course, this is the original theme. That's Crash 2 theme. Time trial development times. Or not development, but developers. Really, these are some times right here. I mean, uh, that's that's uh, kind of exactly how they did in the uh, third game. They did developer times. I mean, but then again, these are the guys that know everything. They know this game inside and out. So, of course, they'll kind of like use everything to their advantage. And most of us can only wonder. And the Crash Warp theme. Alright, we're at the end of the credits. No bandicoots were harmed in the creation of this game. I should have should have thought so. Should have known this. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> And of course, Crash and Coco. Alright. So now, we can go ahead and get the second ending out of the way. We don't have to worry about the credits again. Since we have all 26 gems. 
we can get the 100% ending. Okay, great haul. Oh, well, you know what? I want to go ahead and save that. Because I suspect that it's going to return me to the title screen. Something tells me. I mean, I can't really say for sure, but I want to... I want to actually make sure. I want to go ahead and save it. You know, just for the heck of it. Why not? I mean, I just like to go and have that 100%. Let's have a look here. There's our 100% right there. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they didn't make the relics add to the percentage. I mean, you'd think they would. But apparently they didn't. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Right, now we can get back into the Great Hall and do the secret ending. Then after that, we're going to have to really go back into all these levels to get the relics. Alright, let's do this. So we need all clear gems in order to be able to do this. And hey, we got all of them. Haha. Uh, can't believe I was kind of close to falling off of that. Alright, last stretch. And there it is. <laughs> Papu sold the ruins of Castle Cortex to a resort developer. He then used the proceeds to open a big and tall shop on the island. Alright, Ripper Roo. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Roo went on to write the well-received book, Through the Eye of the Vortex, a study of rapid evolution and its consequences. And Koala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proportions. Currently, he is working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. Maybe try to improve his not flexing too much. Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He's saving money for his upcoming gubernat gubernatorial campaign. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitris Brio rediscovered his first love, tending bar. <laughs> Maybe he's been doing that too many times. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. He's not flying back and forth like he does in the original. And that's it? Eh, it's okay. At least we got the secret ending. <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> now all that's left is to gra grab all the relics. So at least go ahead and save it again so I have to deal with that again and like I said all that's left is to grab all the relics <laughs> 